Howdy folks, Jeff here again in the garage, and I'm thinking I need to uh, devise some sort of a stick or... <laughs> I need to devise some sort of a device where I can mount this camera and uh, hold it further away from me because, well, that's a lot of face in the camera. and. Uh, my arm is extended completely while I do this and if I lose concentration I end up doing this and that just gets scary and get away from me so I might do that one of these days just not right yet not tonight because that's not going to get anything done on my international and so a few things that I want to do tonight uh, include knock the shit out of uh, the welds and work on this uh, fender here uh, maybe repair that mess on that fender over there. Um, I've learned a lot uh, on metalworking since I've done that one, so I think it's time to uh, revisit that and see if I can do a little better job. I'll see what we can. Uh, let's see what we can get uh, taken care of tonight. So uh, pounding away at that uh, fender. And uh, I, just a reminder uh, to uh, all those people in YouTube land, I'm not a body man. I don't do this for a living. Um, I've never taken any real instructional courses or um, I'm just a, a guy out here with some body tools and a hammer and a willingness to beat the shit out of a panel and see what happens. So... Uh, when I do these videos, I don't want you to think that, hey, I'm learning something from a pro here. You might be learning something, but not from a pro. And <laughs> you might not be learning the right thing, but you might be learning something. Anyway, uh, back to uh, back to this fender. Um, I've been pounding on it and beating on it, and it's coming out all right. It's uh, still got some highs and lows it's got some shrinkage happening there with the over the welds uh, uh, I don't want to put any body fill on this so I want to get it as good as I can before I prime it and paint it and all that stuff and call it good enough for a rat rod and uh, the only reason I'm being fussy at all onto it is so that I can I can hone my skills a little bit for uh, you know anything else that comes along that is required to be a little fussier anyway uh like i said it's a learning experience um i think it's overall it's coming along pretty good uh considering i cut the damn thing in half so uh anyway i'm just hammering at it picking away uh in case you haven't seen any of the other videos or when i say cut it in half um what do i mean or cut it in two uh i cut this section here off and I added uh, two inches of width, two inches of steel. So this flange here used to be over, roughly over to here. So I widened this back fender to fit on the back of my International. It's a Chev fender, and uh, you know I still got some some work to do. Uh, sometimes it's, it looks way worse than it is sometimes. But I got some heavy shrinkage weld mess there. But that's part of learning how to do this. And this is why it's a great experience for me to do this on, you know, the so-called rat rod. So, you know, if it doesn't come out perfect, well, I can just say, well, it's not supposed to be perfect. And uh, I'll show you the, uh, the screw up that I have over here. Um, when I put, first started repairing this fender, uh, one of the things I screwed up is I welded this straight across and it's not supposed to, it's supposed to come out probably a half inch here with a radius and then continue along and taper back in. So that's one thing I'm going to have to repair. And when I made the curve, um, it didn't come out that great. Uh, I tried uh, a couple of different techniques and they failed miserably and this is, as you can see here I have a huge uh, amount of warpage right here. 
so uh, you know it's not screwed up until you can't fix it and now it's uh, it's up to me to fix it so I just threw a coat of primer on there and it's still shiny so of course now you can see all the flaws and I'm aware that there's flaws that's okay though um, I'm okay with that the fact that I cut a fender in two pieces and welded it you know back together more or less um, to me that was the that was the uh, the challenge um, you know uh, a good body man would probably go this far put a coat of thin coat of body fill over that and make that look beautiful I'm not gonna do that <laughs> it's getting nice oh finally um, yeah we're uh, we're probably running 8 30 9 o'clock at this point after working all day oh actually we're running about five minutes after eight so maybe I'll do some more work and edit all this out and you'll never ever hear it and only I'll know it exists <laughs> all right it's always fun to have to turn the radio down before you make a video because um, the people of YouTube don't like you playing the radio in the background I guess I don't know I don't care really but I turn it down just in case I ever want to go through AdSense and partners and all that crap but as of right now I don't uh, you'll notice that there's no ads on my uh, on my videos um, I don't do this to make money I'd, I don't do very much to make money actually <laughs> anyway um, here we are uh, knocking around this fender um, geez that looks awful through video but I had to make a, a cut there um, there's there's work there to be done uh, I'm not sure man is that ever crooked I'm gonna see if I can save it if I can't I'll haul the friggin thing off and um, do it again but uh, the big bulge that was coming down here uh, I got rid of most of it I made a couple of pie cuts as you can see here and uh, that relieved a lot of tension so uh, I might be able to save this knock the shit over it some more and um, see what I can do there I got some really bad welds on this one. I used a uh, 20 gauge on this section and uh, the other fenders I used 18 gauge and I much prefer the 18. So uh, if I decide to cut this all off, I'll replace it with 18. The 20 gauge is a little flimsy. I thought flimsy would be better to work with, but in reality, 18 gives you more material to um, move around I guess or work with I don't know it's just it's better in my mind there's a gully right here it kind of comes up and I hammered it in a little section where it came up but I was a little aggressive with it and I have to knock it back down but and then there's a, a filler piece I got to go in here this radius is going to be tighter or it might be cut right off and redone I'm going to try to fix it and if I can't fix it I'll cut the freaking thing out so anyway that's uh that's where we are I'm got some work to do to this and I don't know when I'll get back on it maybe uh maybe this weekend we got uh, some things to do tomorrow night and Thursday night so uh won't be out here however uh Next time I am out here, I'll bring you along. So until then, I appreciate you watching and uh, take care.